Hello and welcome to the Sussex Learning Network's Higher Education Exploration video series. This video is titled, How do I pay for higher education? And we'll cover student loans that are available via Student Finance England, grant scholarships and bursaries, and where you can find further information about funding higher education studies. A good strategy to get the most of this video would be to take notes of the new information that you learn and rewatch sections that you are unsure about. So first, let's talk about student loans. There are two types of loan that you may be eligible to receive via Student Finance England. The first is called a tuition fee loan. These pay for your course fees that your college or university charges you each year. The second loan that you may be eligible to apply for is a maintenance loan. This helps cover your living costs, for example, rent, bills and food. The amount of maintenance loan you can receive depends on three main factors. First, household income. If you are aged under 25 at the start of your course, your parents or your guardian's household income will be assessed. If you do not have a relationship with your parents or guardians, in other words, you are estranged, see the standalone guide to applying as an independent student. If you will be aged 25 or over at the start of your course, your own household income is used instead. Second, in order to assess the amount of maintenance loan you are eligible to receive, your living arrangements while studying are taken into consideration. For example, if you stay living at home during your studies, you will receive less than if you move away. Lastly, your course intensity also determines the amount of maintenance loan you receive. You can sometimes study your course over a longer period of time than normal. In other words, part-time study. If you choose to do so, you may be entitled to less maintenance loan each year. You can find out what student loans you may be entitled to receive by using the gov.uk student finance calculator. The link is on the screen now. When taking out a loan, it is of course important to think about how you will pay it back. So here are some key facts for you to know about based on the current repayment rules. So first, you will not have to pay back your student loan until you are earning a certain amount each year. This threshold is to make sure you can afford to do so. At the moment, this is £26,567 or over a year. By comparison, the median average yearly salary in the UK in 2019 was £29,600, so just over this. Second, you pay back 9% of anything you earn that is above the threshold that I just mentioned. So you do not pay 9% of the first £26,567 that you earn each year. This amount is ring-fenced off and is not touched. Got a bit lost? Don't worry. It is quite complicated and is probably best understood with an example. Let's look at the yearly salaries of three graduates who have completed their higher education studies. Graduate one is earning £18,000 a year. Graduate 2 is earning the UK 2019 median average of 29,600 a year. Graduate 3 is currently looking for work and so is not earning anything at the moment. Can you find out whether any of the following graduates are currently paying back their student loan? Think about the threshold that I mentioned earlier, which is still on the screen, and see if any of them are earning above this. What did you think? Let's have a look. So the answer is that only graduate two is paying back their student loan at the moment because they are the only ones earning above the threshold of £26,567 a year. So very well done if you guessed this correctly. So the next question that follows on for this is, well, how much is graduate two actually paying back? They are paying back 9% of anything above the threshold, which is £3,033 a year. Remember that the rest is ring fenced off and not touched. So 9% of £3,033 is £272.97. This is how much they pay back each year. This works out at £22.75 a month. Don't worry if this isn't making much sense right now. The main take home message is that you only pay your student loan back when you are in a position to be able to do so. And when you do it, it is an affordable amount each month. There are two more very important things to quickly mention about your student loan repayments before we move on. Firstly, how long do you have your student loan debt for? Under current rules, this is 30 years. 
whether you have paid off none of it, some of it, nearly all of it, whatever is left after 30 years is completely written off. In other words, it disappears forever. Also, no one else is responsible for paying for your student loan debt. Second, you are charged interest on your loan. This does not affect the amount that you are required to pay back each month though. As we covered earlier, the amount you repay each month is based on your income, not how much student loan debt that you have. However, it could mean that you pay back more overall during your 30-year repayment period. Having said this, did you know that only an estimated 17% of graduates will pay back all of their student loan before it is written off? This means there is a good chance that you will pay back less than you owe. In addition to your student loan, you may be eligible to receive grants, scholarships and or bursaries from Student Finance England. These are extra sources of financial support for your higher education studies. This includes the Adult Dependence Grant, if you are financially responsible for another adult, the Child Care Grant, to help towards the cost of childcare while studying, Disabled Students Allowance, for support with the extra cost you might have as a direct result of a disability, including a long-term health condition, a mental health condition, or a specific learning difficulty such as dyslexia, and the parents learning allowance, which can help pay towards your learning costs while studying if you have children that you are financially responsible for. Additionally, the college or university you study with may offer their own grants, scholarships and bursaries. Lastly, the Scholarship Hub website has a brilliant database to search for other grants, scholarships and bursaries, such as those offered by charities. Grants, scholarships and bursaries do not typically need to be paid back but do check the fine print before you sign up. Student finance is an important thing to get your head around, which we hope this video has helped with. The WHICH website, of which the link is on the screen, provides lots of extra information to help you understand it in more detail. So now that we've covered funding higher education studies, let's check your understanding with a quiz. First, what are the two main types of student loan available from Student Finance England? These are the tuition fee loan, which pays for your course costs, and the maintenance loan, which pays for your living costs such as rent, bills and food. Next question. Under current rules, how much do you need to be earning a year to start paying back your student loan? This is currently over £26,567 a year. Third, true or false, after 30 years, your student loan debt is written off. In other words, it disappears forever. This is true. Last, what extra financial support may you be eligible to receive, which typically does not have to be paid back? These are grants, scholarships and bursaries, which may be available via Student Finance England, your higher education provider and or charities. So how many of these questions were you able to get right the first time? Make sure to re-watch this video to cover any gaps in your knowledge so that you understand how to fund higher education study. Well done for watching this higher education exploration video titled, How do I pay for higher education? We have covered student loans via Student Finance England. To recap, this includes a tuition fee loan and a maintenance loan. We've also covered grants, scholarships and bursaries. These are extra sources of financial support during your higher education studies. And we have also talked about where you can find further information about funding higher education studies. The WHICH website is a great resource to help you get to grips with this topic. Having explored this today, what are your next steps to help you explore your higher education options further? You can get help with this by speaking to your school's careers advisor or contacting the National Careers Service for free. Thank you for listening. This video was brought to you by the Sussex Learning Network. We are part of the UniConnect programme funded by the Office for Students and work in partnership with the Chichester College Group. Let us know what you thought of this video by completing a short survey, which you can find in the description below.